Okay. <clears throat> be me. Be sophomore in college. Spring break. Decide to go to San Francisco with a few of my bros. I had this one buddy. We'll call him Dave. Dave was a fucking wild card. This dude would do just about anything for a laugh. In San Francisco, after an awful red-eye flight, go clubbing every night, having the time of our lives. Eventually, our trip was coming to a close, and we had only a couple more days left in San Francisco. Decide to go clubbing again for the third night in a row. After a few hours of clubbing, we were pretty freaking inebriated. Finally, decide to wander back to a hotel for the night. Begin to stumble back to the hotel, having a great fucking time. We're suddenly approached by one of San Fran's finest, a frighteningly emaciated meth addict hooker. We're not interested in acquiring venereal diseases from a crack whore. Continue to walk. As we were about to walk by, this hooker said something that I'll never be able to forget. I'll bet each of you boys $10 that you can't shit on my face. Dave immediately takes her up on the offer. Me and the rest of my friends are too drunk to care. Hooker takes us all down to an alley, then proceeds to lay down with her face upwards. Okay, try to shit on my face. Dave goes first. Dave pulls his pants down and exposes his bare ass. Just as he's about to pinch a log off into this meth, <laughs> just as he's about to pinch off a log onto this meth addict's horse forehead, she blows on his asshole. <laughs> the asshole immediately shrivels. <laughs> asshole immediately shrivels up like a dehydrated raisin. <laughs> Dave literally cannot shit on her face. My turn next. I stand over her face, knowing that my ten dollars is at stake. I squeeze my bowels like I've never squeezed them before and I begin to feel a massive shit log stirring within me. I'd gain confidence. This was my shining moment. Just as I felt the tip of my shit touching the ring on my asshole, a great wind swept up from the prostitute's mouth and instantly closed <laughs> the, gates, the gates of my sphincter. <sighs> Just as Dave had failed me before, I was unsuccessful in my quest. Hooker proceeds to do the same to each of my friends. Not a single of not a not a single one of us can shit on her face. Hooker collects 60 bucks. We <laughs> Hooker collects 60 bucks and we finish our journey back to the hotel defeated. All my friends and I quickly forget the experience except for Dave. Dave becomes legitimately angry that he wasn't able to shit on the hooker's face. Keeps talking about how much he wants his money back. Whatever. That'll give. Next day. Our plan leaves the next morning, so this night is our last in San Francisco. We decide to go around and eat dinner at the cheapest restaurant we can find. After losing our money to the hooker, we decided not to spend much. Find this nasty Chinese buffet. Eat a fuck ton of food, tons of really spicy stuff. Decide to go back to the hotel to chill and start packing. We get back to the hotel and a look of pure malice crosses Dave's face. We're going to, <laughs> we're going to get our money back. <laughs> Apparently, the Chinese buffet was beginning to have a serious effect on Dave. Dave runs out of the hotel to find the hooker from the night before. Friends and I have no choice but to follow. Dave doubles over in stomach pain, still running with the ferocity of... <laughs> Still running with the ferocity and determination of a tigress hunting her prey. Dave begins to groan and fart loudly, running even faster than before. Finally arrive at the alley where we met the hooker before. Sure enough, the same method prostitute is standing at the same corner. Dave groans through clenched teeth. We want to try and shit on your face again, double or nothing. Hooker agrees. Takes us back to the same place as before and lays in the same position. Dave stands over her face as I remain transfixed with anticipation. Before the hooker even had time to purse her lips in preparation of closing Dave's sphincter, he began to release an unholy anal terror. <laughs> the likes of which no man should ever witness. <laughs> Dave lets out a defeating war cry as legions of... <laughs> Liquid shit spew forth from between his five fiercely vibrating ass cheeks. The hooker screams. The hooker screams of utter terror slowly become muffled as legendary proportions of post-digested spicy Asian buffet cover her face and chest. The shit continues to flow forth as the floodgates of hell remain open. Hooker attempts to protect her already scat-buried face with her hands, which are quickly pushed back by the force of Dave's anal explosion. Finally, Dave's ass slowly putters and flarps itself to sleep. Dave turns around, bare ass quivering from the after effects of what can only be compared to a nuclear blast in order to assess the damage. <laughs> the hooker is literally covered from head to toe in shit with the with the smell of reminiscent with the smell reminiscent of the prison cells in Auschwitz. She's not even moving anymore. She just lays still, put into shock by the force of Dave's shit. Dave. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dave turns thoughts with a serious expression on his face, bare eyes still exposed to the breeze. Holy fuck, I've killed her. <laughs> the pavement around the hooker's head is also drenched in shake, giving the appearance of a grotesque brown halo. Dave quickly pulls his pants back up and we all sprint away from the alley. Still don't know what happened to that hooker, even if she... <laughs> Still don't know what happened to that hooker, or if she even survived. <laughs> That's the greatest screen text I think I've ever read. <laughs>